Nga skudit e qas. Nga skudit e qas të si aje të a dagu i guasës hajt aslach jo. These words, these are the words of the native people that once lived here on the seven hills of Seattle. These are the words of the Duwamish people and of my great, 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 great grandfather. This person the world knows as Chief Seattle. As native people, we're beginning to speak once again in our own way. And so it's my honor to be before you here today and say, Thank you, my friends, for your hearts. For your attention. For your strength. This means a long time ago. Alturi to hawk the Safa, O Kitid of Alturi at the shores of Alkai Beach, if also to be at the past. That a long time ago, my great 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 grandfather stood on the shores of Alkai and he said something like this. He said, Shlaleo de Siaya Disha Pada Te Dewams. Come ashore, my friend, onto this land of the Duwamish. Under this old land of the Duwamish. And so this is who we are as Duwamish people. And so I am Yayust of Zata Duwams, workman of the Duwamish tribe. And great, 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 great grandson of Chief Siao. And it's my honor to say to you, very much as my great 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 grandfather said before me gwigwi hidak in this word it means invite and because we recognize that the world is so small today a very small place we repeat this three times which means the whole world is invited to this new place and it's my honor to welcome you here today so when i say gwigwi hidak Gwigwi Hidak, Gwigwi Hidak. This means welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Ken, for anchoring our gathering tonight to our elders and the land. Ken Workman is from the Duwamish tribe, and as he mentioned, he is the great, 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 great grandson of Chief Seattle, but he is also the great, great, great nephew of Princess Angeline. Welcome to our 2021 Port of Seattle Commissioner's Candidate Forum. My name is Sheila Brush. I am the founder of Quiet Skies Puget Sound. And my name is Maria Batiola. Welcome. I chair the Beacon Hill Council. Um, we're co-chairing tonight's event because we want to be able to say thank you to the candidates for their courage, their passion, and the opportunity to tell us about themselves. And we want to be able to address, hear them address our community concerns regarding SeaTac airport impacts on our health, our environment, and climate change. We want well-informed King County community members and voters. We encourage you to use the chat to comment and ask questions that we may be able to answer during the forum or thereafter. This video event is being live streamed by our media partner, South King County Media. The video will be posted to our partner's website, who are 350 Seattle Aviation, 500 Women Scientists, Climate Action Families, Climate Reality, Coalition of Immigrants, Refugee and Communities of Color, El Centro de la Raza, King County International Airport Community Coalition, and South King Media. So without much ado, please welcome our moderator, business, intellectual property, entertainment attorney, and community activist, Steve Edmondson. Let's give him a nice welcome. Well, I'm gonna jump in and assume my microphone is on. 
Uh, welcome to our viewing audience and thank you for participating in this candidate forum. And thank you to tonight's sponsoring organizations and many event volunteers. And a special thank you to our candidates for Port of Seattle Commissioner Position 1, incumbent Ryan Calkins and challenger Norm Siegler. For Position 3, incumbent Stephanie Bowman and challenger Norm Siegler. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me, position three is incumbent Stephanie Bowman and challenger Hamdi Muhammad. And for position four, incumbent Peter Steinbrook and challenger Toshiko Hasegawa. My name is Steve Edmiston. I can almost guarantee something will go wrong. We have a lot of moving parts tonight, but I'm also confident there is a lot of essential information coming your way in the next two hours. Tonight we have in effect three individual debates, one right after the other. Each debate will feature two candidates seeking your vote for a Port of Seattle Commission seat. Each limited debate is designed to last approximately 35 minutes. The order of the debates is as follows. First up will be the debate between the candidates for a Port of Seattle Commission position one, followed by position three, and finally position four. Our first debate tonight for position one is between incumbent Ryan Calkins and challenger Norm Sigler. While our position candidates are getting into place, I want to begin to tell you about our nine sponsors. I will talk about three of them before each round. These organizations collaborate, work on different parts of the problems we face, and find solutions. You've met our event co-chairs. They're from Quiet Skies Puget Sound. Quiet Skies has been advocating since 2015 for cities around the airport. Burien, Des Moines, Federal Way, Normandy Park, SeaTac, and Tequila. They say, if you're hearing it, you're breathing it. Beacon Hill Council and the Environmental Justice Coordinator for El Centro de la Raza work together to bring attention to their aircraft pollution impacted community. Their recent victory is getting the King County government to include for the very first time aircraft greenhouse gas emissions in the 2021 Strategic Climate Action Plan. We are ready when you are, Steve. Very good. We are good to go. Again, our first debate tonight for position one is between incumbent Ryan Culkins and challenger Norm Siegler. Let's welcome them with virtual claps. Candidates, here is the format for tonight's 35 minute debate. First, each of you will have two minutes to introduce yourself to the audience. Then four questions will be asked. Candidates will take turns being the first to respond. The first candidate will have two minutes to answer. Then the other candidate will have one minute to reply or comment. Then we will move directly to the next question. After all four questions, you will each ask your opponent a question. Your opponent will then have one minute to respond. Finally, your debate will conclude with a short lightning round of yes or no questions. To remain on schedule, we will have a clock timer that will appear on your screen. We will need to treat this timer as an absolute, and I will interrupt to advise you when there are 10 seconds remaining on your clock. I will also interrupt you after the time expires, if needed, by thanking you for your answer. That's the cue to stop. Finally, we are grateful that tonight's forum is being translated to seven languages spoken by our communities. To make this work well, please speak slowly and clearly. Candidates, are we all clear? Prior tonight, there was a coin toss. As a result, Norman Siegler will go first. Mr. Siegler, you now have two minutes to introduce yourself. I can. Can you hear me? Okay, uh, so it's me. Well, thank you all for organizing uh, this forum. 
Uh, my name is Norman Sigler, and I'm running again for a seat on the Port of Seattle Commission, this time position number one. I am grateful to the 19,000 King County voters that supported my 2015 campaign. I am the owner of clearconsulting.biz, an executive search firm focusing on diversity. I also bring experience in the aviation industry, having moved here in 2003 to be the manager of finance and contracts at Alaska Airlines. I also have experience uh, working with Northwest Airlines, which is now Delta and Continental Airlines after receiving my MBA in finance and accounting from the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. I will be the only commissioner with airline experience. My focus as a commissioner will be environmental justice. I will work with communities around the port to ensure there's no harm done by port actions and actually that the port contributes to an enhanced quality of life for its neighbors. I support putting the proposed new parking garage on the site of the current employee parking lot. This will save trees and wildlife habitat currently on the site for, proposed, for the proposed parking structure. Climate action now. Uh, China was just drowning. Germany was just drowning. We've been just drowning. We need to have our port at carbon neutrality by 2030, not 2050. We have some of the smartest people on the planet living here as colleagues, friends, neighbors, who can come together and innovate our way to clean energy solutions to climate change and in the process create a green new economy. I also want to end systemic racism. We as a society had a reckoning when witnessing George Floyd's murder at the knee of law enforcement. This is the time to end systemic racism within our institutions. I will help the court with this process. And lastly, honesty. I intend to be a model for other politicians as I will not lie to you about what is going on at the port I am disgusted by elected officials who knowingly lie to us for political gain or out of political cowardice. I humbly ask for your support and vote. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Siegler. Mr. Calkins, you have two minutes to introduce yourself. Thanks, Steve. Uh, so four years ago, I ran for the Port of Seattle Commission as a newcomer to politics. Voters took a chance on me based on my commitment to environmental justice and shared prosperity. In my bid for re-election, the Sierra Club, Washington Conservation Voters, SEIU 6 and 775, firefighters, teamsters, laborers, carpenters, Attorney General Bob Ferguson, Congress members Jayapal Smith and Larson, as well as dozens of elected leaders from around King County have endorsed my campaign. I want to especially thank Senators Wilson and Wynn and Representatives Gregerson, Cody, Fitzgibbon and Johnson, who represent parts of our county most impacted by port operations. The Port of Seattle is a key economic driver for our region, supporting tens of thousands of family wage jobs and hundreds of local small businesses. As a commissioner, I have worked to preserve jobs and to create new ones. And just as important, I've opened new opportunities for everyone to share in the prosperity of a growing economy, including the establishment of Maritime High School, which opens this fall in Des Moines. I have worked hard to make the Port of Seattle an environmental leader demonstrating that economic growth and sustainability are not at odds. Done right, responding to climate change can mean new jobs and industries for our region. We need to overhaul the way we fuel our ships and planes and trucks before it's too late. That's why we cut our carbon emissions in half, 10 years ahead of schedule, and are pursuing the most ambitious environmental agenda of any port in the nation. At the same time, I know that there is much more to be done. We need to accelerate our transition to clean fuels, support the development of electric aviation, explore high-speed ground transportation, and focus on industries that reverse climate change, like renewable energy. I love this job, and I am so grateful for the privilege to serve in this role. And I look forward to a vigorous debate on port issues tonight. Thank you, Mr. Culkin. We now move to the four questions. The first candidate responding will have two minutes to answer. The second candidate will then have one minute to respond. The first question tonight is from Quiet Skies Puget Sound on the subject of public health and SeaTac airport operations. The question will be asked by Sheila Brush, Quiet Skies founder. Because we are taking turns, Mr. Calkins, you will now first respond and you will have two minutes. Sheila Brush, the room is yours. Just last December, Public Health Seattle in King County produced the Washington Legislator, a 96-page report titled Community Health and Airport Operations Related Noise and Air Pollution. 
The report directly addressed the health of communities within 10 miles of SeaTac Airport, over 600,000 people. The report recognized that over 50% of the people in King County identifying as Black, African American, Hispanic, Latino, Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander live within 10 miles of the airport. These same communities have higher poverty level than the rest of the county, lower reading standards, and lower graduation rates. Nearly 25% are immigrants. With a focus upon these vulnerable populations, the report identified noise and air pollution from airport operations as causal. The highest rate for negative health outcomes for heart disease, stroke, respiratory disease, premature birth, and cancer. Between one and 10 miles from SeaTac, deaths from cancer were up to 1.4 times higher than expected. Deaths from heart disease were up 2.3 times higher and deaths from stroke up 1.9 times higher. The, recommend, the report recommends efforts and strategies now to address the identified health disparities and to mitigate the public health impacts of our airport and noise pollution. The question to you is, how do you respond to the airport neighborhood community public health crisis reflected in this report? And will you commit today to adopt the report's findings and to fund the report's recommendation? Why or why not? Mr. Calkins, you have two minutes to respond. 